So Disney has obviously decided to move forward with the Rachel Zegler Snow White. And you guys asked us to watch the new teaser trailer they released and discuss it. And I'm actually really excited to watch this because I want to see like what changes did Disney make. Because we saw that they released some pictures recently where there's those AI gnomes. Not gnomes, uh... Dwarves. Dwarves, yeah. The AI dwarves. So they obviously decided to change that. So I really want to see what other things they decided to change. And this teaser trailer's already been ratioed. It's had over 3 million views and only 45,000 likes to 160,000 dislikes. And to be honest, it's going to be pretty hard to assess how good or bad this teaser trailer is. Because people are going to hate it regardless. Yes. Like Snow White and what Rachel Zegler said was kind of that turning point, I think, for a lot of people to realize, wow, Disney really has a different view of the world than most of the people that pay to watch Disney films. Or just that, like, Disney doesn't get it anymore. Mm-hmm. And that they no longer even like their own IPs because Disney made Snow White and yet they're trashing it. Yeah, it was like their baby. It was like the first. Yeah, the very first. Mm-hmm. So I think that really was like the straw that broke the camel's back where people are like, Disney. Well, and it made it obvious that the people running and working and acting in Disney all loathe the source material. They loathe the entire just heritage of Disney. Yes. And just the values that build up Disney. And so I think it was like the moment that turned off a lot of people. So. Yes. But I also wonder, even if they made like a ton of changes mm-hmm. and this is like the perfect movie, will people even go see it? I wonder if just the fact that Rachel Zegler is still in it is going to be enough for a lot of people to just not go see this film. Oh, I agree with that 100%. Because we saw recently that was enough for people to boycott her other projects yeah. and even for her to lose some of the jobs that she was Even have. with her winning Best Action. Oh my theater. God, I forgot about that. Yes. For, Best yeah. Action Star. <laughs> oh. Over John Wick, mind you. Yeah. Yeah. For singing. So. <laughs> Let's check out this teaser trailer. Yes. No matter what, it's going to be funny. Yes. So I'm not starting off that. It doesn't look as creepy as the previous animals have. <laughs> so there you go. So, so they did bring back the board. Yeah, the iconic image. So whistle while you were. That's okay. I don't know why they would do that though. Yeah. It's like happy to be with us. So you guys let us know in the comments what you thought about that teaser trailer. But I have to be honest, it was so short that I don't really like there's not really a lot there. Yeah, it tells you that it being ratioed is people are still mad at Disney. Yes. Like that, it's not it's not from what you saw in the trailer. It's they're just still pissed. And people still don't like this film and what it represents. And that Rachel Zegler's still in it. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say, did you guys check out that there are doors this this trailer now? Yeah, so they know. So they do know this is absolutely an attempt to try and claw back the audience. But uh I don't think those are actual no, little people actors. Those are definitely not those are, that's CGI. Which is pretty hilarious because one of the first comments he goes, like, don't worry, no dwarves were hired in the making of this film. Which kind of shows that Disney still doesn't get what the problem was. It was that they were acting weird about there being dwarves in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Yes. Like, how out of touch are you that you don't understand, like, why adapt it if that's the problem? If you weren't going to hire little people actors. Yeah. And little people actors wanted those roles. And they were speaking for them. So they seem to have learned next to nothing. No, absolutely nothing. (laughs) Um, there's a guy in it. Yes. What, what's that about? Like, yes. is that the prince? So is he the prince or is he still a bandit? Or is he the prince that we don't know if it's going to make it to the end of the film because he might get cut. Yeah. Which, Which Rachel was very... Yeah, her asshole bleak, comment yeah. of, <laughs> I, who knows, maybe his scenes will get cut. That's Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. She was like, that's Hollywood. So it seems yeah. like he actually made the cut. Bro, um, they're like, pull that, 
you know, fill them out of the dumpster because uh, <laughs> people are going to be pissed if there's not a prince. If there's no dude in here, yeah. people are going to lose it. Gal Gadot looks decent as the evil queen, I guess. Decent? Bro, yeah. what is Gal Gadot? Even these comments, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? You, my queen, giggity. <laughs> That's that's the other thing about this is like nobody's gonna be buying that Rachel Ziegler's like you know threatening. hotter than yeah <laughs> somehow fairer than they have a, Gal Gadot yeah, yeah they have a not. weird thing of like in the hiring it's like it shouldn't be about looks but they keep hiring like ridiculously beautiful women to play the evil queen because before this was Charlie Theron yeah I think that might also be an issue for this movie isn't there like a ton of live action Snow yeah. White movies. Yeah, like, dude, I'm a little burnt out on just the live-action Disney remakes mm -hmm. in general. Um, but, dude, for Snow White, there's so much competition. And at least some of the other ones, like Snow White and the Huntsman, had a unique approach to it. Yes. So is it going to be better than those? That's up for debate. It looks more like the traditional one. The real question is, will it be less controversial? Absolutely not. No. Like, people want to see those films because they just seem like they're going to be fun. You know what sticks out to me with this? What? Disney made this film into a bone of contention, and it just, it shouldn't be. No. It should just be a fun, take your kids to go see Snow White. That's what stuck out to you? I no. think that stuck out to everyone from the very beginning. No, I'm saying, <laughs> even with this trailer, yes. they did nothing to remedy this thing that it's become this sticking point. Yes. They didn't apologize. They didn't recast Rachel Zegler. I'm not saying you have to get rid of Rachel Zegler, but like I at am. least maybe half her apologize. Like, show some act of contrition that hey, we realized that our opinions were definitely in the very, very niche, you know, side of things. I honestly think they should have recast Rachel Zegler. Why are the parks doing not so hot? <laughs> well, maybe because you're making films where people say everything about the... F I mean, the, the chick said that the ride was too scary and that she thought the prince was a creepy stalker. Yeah. And So, but all wrong. please come spend thousands of dollars at our theme parks. And go see my movie. And get that warm, fuzzy feeling of just appalling disgust. Yes. Um, now, someone did say, but she has a great singing voice. Yeah. And I don't think that should be the reason you keep an actress. For no, I mean, she sounds good. Yes. But I mean, dude, every Disney actress who sings sounds good. Yeah, I think that's, that's like the bare minimum. It's kind of like that's why you make these Disney films is to showcase like Beautiful these original voices. scores. Yeah, yeah, these original scores. So it's like the bare minimum to be able to sing. Exactly. But that said, Disney is always one to you know, play with expectations because we just had Aquafina in The Little Mermaid. So, you know, sometimes... It's very true! It, <laughs> so an awful song! Maybe we should be singing here. It's like, at least she can sing because, you know, the way Disney's running things, even the bare minimum doesn't seem to be a floor for them, you yeah. know? Also, what was with the uh, deer's eyes glowing red? I have no idea. Like, that was interesting. That's literally from 300 and the Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I don't know why that would be in a children's, like, animated thing. Yeah. But whatever. I mean, Disney just messed up. They they haven't come and apologized. You can tell that they've made some changes because they want to try and bring back audiences because they're in huge financial trouble. Yes. But their ego is such that they can't just admit. They can't. There's no contrition. There's no mea culpa. It's, hey, did you see their doors? But they're CGI. And that's yeah. literally what I was about to say. This comment is literally perfect. Why does this look like an AI-generated fever dream? It does. <laughs> that is actually spot on. If they truly wanted to bring fans back, they would have had the ending scene be the prince leaning down to kiss her. Like, it's, that would be the, we heard you, we messed up, yep. you're going to get Snow White, not Snow White takes on the patriarchy. Or Snow Brown takes on the patriarchy. Yeah. But you guys, these are just our thoughts. Like, subscribe, and let us know what you guys thought. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.